Hi, I am Salahuddin. Today I will discuss about the composite design pattern. It is a structural pattern. First, let's see where do we need to use the composite design pattern. Here we have an object diagram. The object diagram represents a tree structure where we have one, two, three, and four objects, leaf objects, and also we have one, two, three composite objects. The activity of the leaf objects differs with the composite objects. Suppose the leaf ellipse objects suppose the ellipse objects draw a ellipse and circle objects draw a circle but the composite objects doesn't work like the way rather it holds a, a leaf objects and it can also hold a composite objects so implementing the tree structure to represent the part whole hierarchy is a complex and uh, also error prone but uh, if we can treat all the objects all the live objects and also the composite objects uniformly then it will be more easy to implement and uh, to solve the problem the composite design pattern has come now let's see how the composite design pattern works we will see now using uml diagram First, actually, the composite design pattern solves the problem using an interface so that the client can access those objects through the interface and uh, treat all the objects uniformly. Now, here, first we declare the interface. Suppose all objects draw. And now we will implement each object. Suppose it is for ellipse. And we implement the draw method. It's for circle. and it's for the composite object composite graphic and we also need to implement the draw method as all objects are inherited from the interface sorry we also need to add more objects we can also add more methods uh, in the composite graph composite composite objects like add object remove object And uh, all these three objects are inherited from the interface. Inherited from the interface. And the composite objects, it uh, holds uh, another composite objects, can hold another composite objects, or also the leaf objects. So we can also use another link here that is child. Uh, in composite design pattern, these parts are called the interface, called the component, actually. Actually, this is called component in composite design pattern, which uh, holds the common methods like draw, and uh, all the leave objects and the composite objects implemented the draw method. The ellipse uh, draw method actually draws uh, a ellipse, like circle, it draws a circle. And in the composite graphic, draw method actually doesn't do like the way, rather it holds, uh, it calls uh, its uh, child uh, draw method. So that, the, so that the composite graphic, 
composite method can access each cell object and client access all those all those objects through the interface so that client can treat all the objects uniformly and uh, that's and this is how the composite design pattern work now we will see the composite design pattern the implementation in C++ so that we can understand the design pattern more clearly first we will write the interface suppose class class graphic virtual void draw this is the interface for our all objects lib objects and also the composite objects now we will implement the lib objects class for ellipse inherited from the interface public graphic implement the method void I'm just doing the implement the method and just declaring it and for the composite objects it will be like class composite graphic implements the interface public graphic here the composite objects holds uh, the objects so we need a variable like list and the uh, object type will be the interface type So that we can hold uh, all type of objects uh, which is uh, inherited from the interface. Yes. Okay. And the draw method actually works like here. Right. It will access all the child ch ch child objects or child child G R A C and from the child it will access to the draw method. That is, in the composite classes, the draw method actually actually access to its child classes, and uh, that in the child classes it uh, acts it calls the draw method. And we can also here add add objects and uh, its type will be graphic type. Graphic type. Uh, now, how the client can can use those objects? We will see how client can use those objects. First, 
in this tree structure we need a graphic it is a composite type of objects so we will first create a composite object that is composite graphic composite graphic type of objects suppose it is a graphic And now we will create another object for node type of suppose for ellipse type of object. And now we will add the ellipse object to the graphic objects to the composite objects that is graphic we will call the add method add objects add objects and pass the ellipse objects. and uh, like the way we will we can create all the tree structure part hollow part hole tree structure part hole hierarchy we can create that type of tree structure and uh, to get the full implementation using c++ please visit my github github repository and uh, thank you for watching the video